Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into an unboxing haul plus a little makeup. So we recently got our package. We went ham on some products at weessentials.com and we bought a bunch of Ruby Kisses, Kiss products, and many more brother and sister brands from them. So I'm super excited to share this with you guys. If you guys don't know, I am a We Essentials ambassador, but this video is not for PR. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I got in my box, what I bought today, then just make sure you keep on watching. And if you wanna see some lash try on and lip swatches, then keep on watching. If you're new here, please subscribe to the beauty family. We post tons of beauty tutorials, unboxings, and reviews, so definitely stay tuned if you're into any of that. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. You guys will be notified every time I post a new video once you hit that bell. We post weekly videos every Thursday at 11 a.m. Show your support and smash that like button, share this video with friends, and let me know in the comments below what your favorite brother and sister brands of We Essentials are. Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give up, help paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to get me a million dollars at the night. Disclaimers, as always, this video is not sponsored. All products were purchased with my own money. I am a We Essentials ambassador, but this has nothing to do with the PR they send me. And as always, opinions and reviews are always 100% honest and authentically me because I am me and you are you. And as you guys know, as I say in every video, my skin and body and hair concerns might be the same as yours, but what products may work for me still may not work for you. We're all different. We're all unique in that way. So always just keep that in mind. So I was actually really, really excited for this haul today. Not only because I got to discover so many more products from We Essentials, Ruby Kisses, Kiss Pro New York, Kiss Products, and Goldfinger, and all the other amazing brands under We Essential, but also because they actually sent me a $50 gift card to purchase all of these products. So what happened was We Essential sent me an email. I actually had purchased a Ruby Kisses foundation maybe a few months ago. I can't remember the exact date. But they basically emailed and asked me to do a review. And as long as I did the review, I'd be entered to win a $50 gift card. So we're here. We won the $50 gift card. So I want to thank We Essentials so much for that. And we got so many products, guys. Like, I'm super excited. All the brands and all the products under We Essentials are super, super, super affordable. So definitely, I would have to say, check them out, guys. If you guys are interested in any of the products mentioned today or just want to know what products I use to create this part of the look, then make sure you check down in the description box below. Everything will be mentioned down there. The links to the products that we will be unboxing today will also be down there. Now let's get into this beauty haul. So the first product we're getting into, I have a love and hate relationship with. This is the Ruby Kisses Fresh All Day Matte Foundation. Now guys, this foundation is super freaking affordable um i can't honestly exactly remember how much each of these products are but as we go along i will write them in the screen here for you guys this foundation i believe is under ten dollars super super affordable but my problem with it is the range the formula goes on so nice um but as someone who has more olive warm yellowish toned skin it's already hard enough to find my foundation because a lot of smaller brands don't have a huge 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 range of colors i feel like ruby kisses has more of a cooler more red more orange toned foundation um, i actually picked two of the lightest shades that i thought would be my color and they actually weren't one of them oxidized which was actually this one, the 312 Golden. This one oxidized more to a orange color. The one I'm currently wearing is shade 322, but I did mix this with my color CoverGirl foundation. And I did also add in the LA Girl Pro foundation color pigments. Um, I used a blue, a white, and a yellow. So just so you guys know. But besides that, if you guys are interested in getting those LA Pro Girl concealers, they're absolutely amazing. They do a great job in reducing the redness in a foundation or just changing the tone to whatever you personally have the mixing pigments are really good if you guys do ever have that trouble 
um if you guys are interested in the ruby kisses foundation because honestly you're saving money guys but definitely a great foundation it's so full coverage um it doesn't feel really drying or oily on the skin i love it and again even though i mixed mine this is how mine looks i like the formula how it feels on my skin it doesn't break me out or make me feel like it clogs up my pores so if you're acne prone like me blemish prone baby then check out this foundation the next product i want to get into are the mascaras actually because i do want to try them on well, at least one of them we got i believe it was two mascaras yes yeah, so we got two mascaras we got the ruby kisses lengthening water resistant mascara and the ruby kisses big lash mascara these are so cute so these are the two mascaras and what's funny is i actually have the lengthening one this pink one um in the waterproof version ruby kisses actually sent me that for pr in my last box and i really love it so it's pretty much going to be the same thing, I think. Um, again, this is just water resistant, not waterproof. So we're going to go ahead and try the Big Lash Mascara today. And this is what the wand looks like on this one. It has a very, like, volumized type of wand. And then this is our Big Lash Mascara. This is the one we're going to try now. I love how it has this, like, really cute cheetah print packaging. And this is the wand. Very different compared to the other one. I usually curl my lashes. I'm not going to do that today because we're going to add um, some lashes anyway. But let's see how this mascara holds up. It does glide really smooth. You know how some mascaras have that like really, really like kind of factory chemically kind of smell? This one does not have that. It's actually... Pulling up my eyelashes very softly. I think I need a little bit more on my wand. I like how the wand doesn't pick up a lot too. I feel like some mascaras, they go on way too much. And you have to like either deal with it or brush it out with one of those little eyelash combs. So far, no clumping. I did get a little bit on my eye, but that is okay. Wow, I like, I like. I'm definitely going to be using this mascara more. This is the difference. This is the eye without, and this is the eye with. I'm going to do my other eye off camera and then come back and get into the next thing. Okay, my love. So we just finished putting on our mascara. We're going to get into the lashes next. But I do want to say this thing does lovely for some very defined and lengthened lashes. It doesn't really do much for volume. But I do know that the lengthening mascara is really good for volume from the other one I tried. I like it. And it looks wonderful on the lower lash line. The next two products I want to get into or by eye envy uh, these are the super stronghold eyelash adhesive because lord knows i needed a new lash glue i was running extra low and the eye envy lifting effects feline vibe lashes so basically they're made to give you like that cat eye defined like very sleek lifted eye look now, I actually do own a INV lash glue, but it's in black, and I absolutely am obsessed with it. Um, I've used that lash glue for years, years, guys. This is just in the shade Clear, so it's just your basic transparent um, eyelash glue. I'm going to go ahead and check to see if these need to be cut. I'm going to open them up and place them on my eye and size them. I will do all that off camera, and we'll come back, and I'll show you how I apply them. And before we do that, I do just want to show you the lashes up close. Really sassy, really cute. So we've cut them. This is how they look cut. They were very, very long, especially for where you're supposed to place them on the eye. It does show you on the back where exactly you place them. So I just went off that. Let's open up this lash glue. And this does also say form a little hide free. I can never say that. And latex free. And it is also waterproof, safe on the skin and ophthalmologist tested and hypoallergenic it's a brush on glue your basic brush on glue 
you guys already know I'm going to do one side with you and then do the other side off camera. Let's just start on the right side because it's much easier for me. We're taking our right lash. Let's add some glue, baby. Here's a trick, guys, if you struggle with your lashes sticking. Um, or maybe you're just not like the glue is coming off or something's going wrong. Um, as you're letting that lash dry, basically just apply a little bit right here on the end. And then you take a little bit more. And just place it right where the front of the lash would start. Now we're going to take this lash on our applicator and let's stick this baby on. So there we go. This glue is good. It already stuck pretty quick. Some glues take very long to dry down. And they're just like always wet. So this is a really good one. Wherever you would put your eyeliner, that's where you want to stick it onto. Um, so that way it brings that lifted look. And as you guys can see, super cute. Very sultry, kind of sexy vibes going on. I'm loving it. I'm going to do the other side off camera and we'll be back. I think I should have bent the other side a little bit more because I feel like it's going on kind of flat. Um, but we're working with it. We're working with it. And then we're just going to take the same liner, whatever liner you used, to fill in the line in between the lash just so it looks all put together. This is how the lashes look. I absolutely am obsessed. I love them. They are too cute. Next up, and we actually did use this already, is the Ruby Kisses Auto Eyeliner in white. And I've been hearing all these girls rave about white eyeliners, nude eyeliners to make the eyes pop. So we got it. We got one. And it does absolutely wonderful so let me just show you guys it's very easy to use and this is actually a improved new formula this is going to be kind of hard to do on camera with the mirror right here um so i will be right back i'm going to do this off camera so i did just want to show you guys the difference um i have the white liner for the waterline underneath this eye i don't have any on this eye right now can you guys see the difference can you guys just see how much more open it looks like it brings more attention to the eyes and honestly with the lashes it gives more of that lifted effect so really pretty but guys you see that you see how easily that just glides on like oh my gosh amazing the next product we're gonna get into are the lippies to complete this look now, I actually got a few lippies, so I won't be trying them all out, but I will be swatching them for you guys. The first ones that I saw that really caught my attention are these babies right here, and these are the Forever Matte Liquid Lipsticks by Ruby Kisses. So these have a new look and an enhanced formula, um, so I'm guessing they updated, upgraded them. The shades that I got were Stranger... Oh boy, and trust me, you're going to see these packagings and you're going to bug out because they are gorgeous. I'm guessing these two shades with the pink tops are the old ones. I'm not sure exactly how it works because the only one that says new look is this like one with the purple top on it. This is what these bad boys look like. Very, very cute. So the first one I'm going to swatch is the shade Oh Boy. It's like a brownish kind of nudie color. That is really pretty. It glides very smooth and feels very lightweight too. The next shade we're taking is Trust Me. This is more of like a mauve pink. Very pretty. I have a lot of colors like that. I thought it was going to come out a little bit different. And then the last shade is Stranger. And there you go. There's your three swatches. Let's get up close and personal. It smells very good. Like, it smells... I don't want to say, like, candy because it's not really candy-like. Oh, yes, they all smell like that. It smells really good, though. Wow. 
So these are the colors up close and personal. Look at that baby. They're so pigmented. They're so pretty. So I think we're just going to go ahead and go for that nude shade, which was Trust Me. I did get also another lip product I'm going to be sharing in a second, but it's more of a lip balm. Well, it is a lip balm, so that's the reason I didn't use it. Oh my gosh, just so cushiony soft. That is such a pretty color. Guys, these feel so, like, buttery. I didn't think they was going to feel this good. This one really does not need a lip liner. I do really like that you could kind of, like, build on these. Like, the more layers I'm adding, I'm seeing the more color pops up. So that's how we're looking. Again, very, very pretty. So light on the lips. I'm going to give them a second to dry down and see how they feel. Look, guys, I just have something to show you real quick. Watch. Watch. Ready? Ready? Nothing. 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 I love these. Freaking obsessed. So light on the lips. They're dried down completely. They're not cracking. They don't look horrible. They don't look like they're peeling. The colors, again, are gorgeous. Guys, 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 you need this in your life. Get you some lippies. Get you some liquid lippies from Ruby Kisses, please, because y'all just need to see for yourself. So now that we've had a little lip love moment, the next product we're going to get into is the Pot on Miracle Maximum Hydration Lip Emollient. It's basically like a lip balm, but you guys know I always love hydrated lips. Um, we all need hydrated lips. It's an essential in our skin routine and our self-care routine. Nobody wants some cracked, crusty, dry lips. So we got some of this. I believe they have three of these available in different formulas. This one is the cocoa butter and coconut oil, and it's supposed to condition, repair, and prevent dry, cracked lips. This is also a new formula. That's what it looks like, and feels very nourishing. Smells really good, too. It smells like coconut and cocoa butter. That's like the best two things in the world. All right, let's get into this next product. The next product, which I'm not going to be using because I don't know how it's going to work with the liquid lipsticks, but I have used this before. I do have another shade from PR, Butter Balm Gloss. Now, I've been obsessed. I think the shade I got before was Blushing. The one that I purchased for this beauty haul was Pillow Talk. This is what it looks like. Wow. Pretty. Very translucent compared to the other shades that I have. But I did just want something kind of subtle. I looked at the shade range while I was on the site. Pillow Talk is very light compared to the blushing shade I have. The blushing shade is like a lot more pigmented. It acts more like a lipstick with that glossy finish. Um, this one, it really, really, really looks like a gloss. Like you guys can see. You see it's very shiny, very sheer. But it's really cute still. I like it. I definitely can't wait to use this because the other one is bomb as heck. I used it already like a bunch of times and I love it. We've completed our look today. Now let's get into the last few products in this box that are not makeup related. First up, we have the Kiss New York Facial Exfoliate Cleansing Sponge. It provides maximum exfoliation um, for deep core cleansing and exfoliating. So this is what it looks like. I've always been a fan of those little like brush wands that you use for your skincare. So I'm excited to see how this does. Um, it feels very soft, like in the packaging, it's very squishy. So the directions are just to wet the sponge before applying cleanser and gently massage in a circular motion. It says rinse thoroughly after each use and air dry and replace every two to three months. Um, so I'm excited. Next product up is the Red by Kiss curved pins these are your basic bobby pins lord knows mommy just needed some new ones with 
all this thing here. So, and these are anti scratch. They have a bowl tip for comfort. Um, these are, I believe, the large versions. They do have other sizes on there. This is the two inch and three fourth pins. Uh, and they feel pretty dang like heavy duty. Like, I feel like I'm holding like a little mini five pound weight or something. The next product we got actually from Red by Kiss also is the Professional Edge Bore Fixer because you guys know I've been doing my edges lately and I've been using a toothbrush. Now, there ain't no hate there because we all been there. We all done it. We all use the toothbrush method, but I definitely want to try a bore brush. I use bore brushes just for my hair in general, and I absolutely love how they tame down the frizz and how they make everything just look more smooth and flawless and give you that sleek look. Also, I believe Red by Kiss, anything with the Red by Kiss logo, they do donate a portion to a, believe it's a nonprofit organization, uh, but again, I'll have all that info in the screen for you guys because I can't remember off the top of my head. Next up, we got some nail stuff now, guys, is the Professional Kiss New York Quick Dry Nail Polish. This is in the shade Rathberry, and look how pretty the packaging is. So cute. I thought the shade would be perfect. Y'all know I love like burgundies and purples, berries, deep colors. I love all colors, but I really kind of gear towards those type of colors more. So I'm excited to try this. Then we have the Goldfinger Clear Empress Curve Acrylic Nails. Now these are your basic false tip nails. As you guys can see, it has your different sizes. There's a hundred of them in here. And these aren't like press-ons they don't go around the whole nail they just go straight on the tip they have that edge that you can glue on and then you just cut them and do whatever you want with them i got these because you guys know i've been working with poly gel and lots of nail stuff lately so this is just for me to play around with a little bit now guys we're on to the last few products i'm hoping you're enjoying these are the gold finger long nails um these are press-on ready-to-wear nails um, two of them are actually limited edition, the Snow Queen ones, which are the white ones, uh, and then the regular ones. Now, I did get a gel glam like this one in a PR box before. I have not worn them yet because I want to do a little content on it for my Instagram for you guys. So, I haven't worn it yet, but we will be soon. We were also waiting for our nails to heal up a little bit after all the poly gel and crazy stuff we were doing with them. Uh, so, stay tuned on Instagram for that at Midnight Moon Makeup. These don't have specific names. They just have like little codes at the top. But you can find these on the We Essentials website. The limited edition ones most likely won't be there anymore because again, they're limited edition. I think they put these on sale for like clearance basically. They're probably not going to be at We Essentials until like winter and Christmas come up again because I believe these are those type of nails. But just to show you a little bit up close. So that's the first set. Very elegant, but like still not like completely top notch. Like I could wear these for my content and not feel like I'm overdoing it. Then I got these and I believe these are like a kind of like turquoise green. I don't really know the color name. Teal maybe. Um, these are the other limited edition ones. Coffin tips again. And then the last one I got, which this one you should be able to get on the site because this is not a limited edition one. This is the gel glam nails. So this is what they look like. They have like a very shiny coating to them. Super excited, super excited. And actually guys, I meant to say something. I believe they threw in a free gift because I purchased these. And I believe these were the ones they threw in as a free gift. So I'm really happy they did that. I spent about $50. Again, the gift card they sent me was for $50. I spent, I think it was around 55 I just paid whatever extra out of my pocket but oh my gosh guys that was an amazing haul I hope you guys loved this haul let me know what was your favorite product in the comments below also let me know if you enjoyed this little makeup look I know we didn't do much but if you liked it then let me know if you guys haven't become a part of the big beauty YouTube family that's growing every week then please do so now subscribe below and hit that bell so you don't miss out on future videos Show your support, smash that like button, share this video with friends because all these products are super affordable and every single person in the world needs to know about them. 
seriously. We'll see you guys back here next Thursday as always. And as always, you guys stay beautifully awesome. Later.